After spending the morning going up the ski lift at the Angel Fire Resort and visiting the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, we headed up about 10 minutes north to visit Eagles Nest Lake. So since we're in the area, I just thought I'd show you Eagles Nest State Park. Quaint little lake here, nestled in this valley. Just gonna drive down and see what we can see. We're not doing any fishing today. So right now, the New Mexico State Parks are only open to New Mexico residents, and they just recently, uh, let's see, it's October of 2020, they just recently started allowing overnight camping. Of course, now it's uh, too chilly for me to do any overnight camping but um, they're trying to limit exposure of people to COVID. So New Mexico residents only right now. So check the website if you feel like visiting before you come. I do want to give a shout out to the owners of this property who got the fire pit all ready. They got all the kindling, they got it all arranged, brought the firewood out to the fire pit area. All I had to do was light the match. So I'm really enjoying that. And good morning. These are the kind of views you can get early in the morning here in Angel Fire this lovely Airbnb with a hammock. So peaceful. You can hear the birds, the squirrels. There were deer this morning and um, early in the morning you could hear the elk out in the distance. So this is an amazing place to be. So I'd like to take you on a little tour of this neat little property that we got to stay in. This is the living area. Has cable TV. Has a little kitchenette. They even provided s'more makings for our use at the fire pit. And yes, they're dog treats. This property is dog friendly. It's a toaster oven, refrigerator, and microwave. And here's the master bedroom. Very comfortable size, super comfortable queen bed, and a very large walk-in closet. Sparkling clean restroom with a nice tile shower, tile floors. And they even have brand new toothbrushes in case you forgot one. And then they've got four bunk beds in the bedroom so you can bring your whole family. The kids will absolutely love this place. And take a peek out the back window. You never know what you might see. So there's a couple more things about Angel Fire that I wanted you to know that I forgot to mention. So number one, this is the coldest spot in the state. Historically through the winter, all the coldest temperatures are always in Angel Fire. And in the fall months, there's a huge temperature swing between what the afternoon temperatures and the nighttime temperatures. So it was getting down to 20, I believe one of these nights, but it was well into the mid seventies during the day and it felt great. So dress in layers. And number two, it is super, super dry and staticky. So do not forget lotion, chapstick, um, and very staticky air. So, but it's beautiful, no bugs, beautiful, clear, crisp air. It's lovely. Okay, we've arrived for our horseback riding tour and I'm just not sure what level of experience we need to go on this tour, so I'm going to go talk to them, let them know we are truly a beginner, and hopefully we'll still be able to do it. Um, but I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm just not sure how much I'm going to be able to video while we're on the horse. Probably not much. Is that the stairs? You think you can get up there? Uh, the stairs? Where are you headed, Calgary? <laughs> she doesn't know. Where are you headed to Wyoming? Hey. Want to hold it? Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. So 
So note to self, if you're in the back, you're gonna get all the dust. Honestly, I couldn't be happier. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful Aspen. This is just amazing. So about halfway on this tour, amongst these amazingly beautiful Aspens, they stop and take each individual group out for a photo, which is really fantastic. The guides here are really great, really great with beginners, really great with kids. I made it, I made it out alive, and this was so much fun. So this is a must do if you come to Angel Fire and you can afford it, I highly recommend going on these horseback riding tours. Nothing better than relaxing in the hammock after a morning of horseback riding with the most beautiful blue skies and the most stunning yellow aspen and pine trees. New Mexico skies are absolutely amazing. So it's my last evening here in Angel Fire and really just want to take it easy. Uh, we don't really want to go out to eat. We have extra pizza left over from lunch. So I'm just taking a nice walk, enjoying the last few moments I have with the Aspens and the deer just keep walking by the property, um, getting as much footage as I can. I just, I love seeing the wildlife. So I'm enjoying the quiet, it's beautiful. here I probably should have been holding my camera at a proper angle while I was talking to him but all the facilities here in Angel Fire um, can be used for a day fee if you're visiting the area you don't have to be a member so the best restaurant in town is supposed to be in this building it's called uh, Elements uh, it's only open for dinner and he did tell me that it's closed today and tomorrow so it must be closed on Sundays and Mondays uh, but I wish I would have gone there, but we were kind of saving money. You know, we spent a lot on the tour and the property, so we kind of cut back on food. But next time, I'll be visiting there. This is Monte Verde Lake, and it's just a mile down the main drag from the Country Club Turnoff. You'll see a sign. There's several hiking trails in the area, and this cute little lake with daily rentals for paddle boards and little canoes and fishing. It just looks like a lovely place to spend the day. So we're saying goodbye to the lovely Franca Chalet behind me. This is easily one of the best properties in Angel Fire. So if you're interested in booking, I have a link down below for a discount code for Airbnb. Uh, you won't be disappointed, I promise.